Hey guys, this is Hyperion Blue GT Champion is here. Well, looks like I'm back for a month. Well, looks like I'm about to get ready to start catching things up here in Gran Turismo Sports. Well, but anyway, I'm starting this live stream featuring this brand new Audi Vision Gran Turismo car. Wow, looks like this is definitely a brand new Vision GT car. That was very awesome. Well, yeah, it's been a while. I never launched live stream, but for only one. But anyway, up here, and looks like there's the new cars is also featured in March 2018 update. Well, looks like these are the only cars that are being returned from Gran Turismo 6, and there are some new race cars and new rides here. And oh man. I cannot believe it that everyone is really excited that they're about to show some three new cars was definitely was the 2016 Super GT. But go and give out the list of new cars was also appeared. Yeah, definitely the internet submission was been giving a little heads up for it. And third is the BMW M3 Sport Evolution 1989. Sport, our return favorite that you guys already love, Nissan Skyline, the R33 of 1997. And there are three Super GT race cars will be introduced as Group 2. That will be a new category. There's the Nissan Motel Eutet GTR 2016. And it looks like the new Nismo, Nissan GTR Nismo was been Turns out it was a 2017 version. Well, kind of thing you guys noticed that there was a, a 2015 version from Gran Turismo 6. And there's the Honda Great Break NSX Concept GT 2016, the Mazda RX-7 GTS FC 1990, the Lexus RCF GT3, the Mule Bray Racing 2017, Lexus AU Tom RCF 2016 and looks like two Red Bull X series from Gran Turismo 6 has finally arrived in GT Sport as Group X, the Red Bull X 2014 Junior and the Standard version. And it looks like there's a new car called the Eckers Broad and Custom Mod 40. Wow! I cannot believe it. This is and it looks like a returning track favorite. If you guys know it, that this is the Tuscuba circuit. But yes, we all enjoyed the Tuscuba circuit from Gran Turismo 4, Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 6, and now arrive in GT Sport. And it looks like there's some brand new events that's been checking up for it. Added up in the GT League. Well, looks like Nissan GTR Cup is in the beginner. Rebel X Junior Series is on the Amateur League. And the Japan GT Championship was definitely All Japan Touring Car Championship was definitely currently known as Super GT was also appear in the Professional League. And it looks like there's there's a museum feature was been added up in Mini. And that one is also added into Renault Sport. But by the way folks, if you have a PlayStation VR was been included, there's a time trial VR that you really want to try it out for. It. Just want to make sure to see how you feel when you're taking the time trial race. This is definitely where you guys might be, be prepared to take some practice by now. Okay, well, looks like it's been a while for this one. Now, let's just see what's new over at the Brand Central. I guess these are the new rides also appears in three continents. So let's just say let's go over to America and looks like Ford is the only one was introduced on the March 2018 update and aha looks like there's a new cover on it for the Ford GT40 and uh, the Ford Mustang Mach 1 
Wow, I cannot believe it that was also seen here in the February 2018 update. Okay, well, first things first, I'm about to go and start things out by catching up for it. For my first focus, I should probably have to get started on the February 2018 update, but... Well, I'll make sure I'll make it up to myself. I'll, I'll just make sure I'm about to be purchasing the Ford Mustang Mach 1. Well... These are the usual colors also seen here in GT5, and I kind of think my bird go with a bright red. And the car price is 50,000 credits. I should probably go and purchase this muscle car. Alright, looks like this is definitely bringing this muscle car back in. Well, definitely. I kind of remember that I played GT5 a long time ago, folks. Alright, now let's see what's next. I'll make sure I'll be saving up the board GT40 Mark 1 here on the March 2018 update. Okay, let's just say I'm about to go check on Dodge. Okay, looks like the Dodge Challenger is definitely included in 19 in February 2018 update. Looks like muscle car fans, looks like your favorite vehicle was finally made on its list. The kind thing I should probably have to go and pick this color the Hemi Orange and purchase this. Luckily, this price is cost 80,000 credits. That could be good enough so I could get it. Well, looks like this old muscle car could Definitely marked out as N400. Okay, anything else? Well, let's see. Now let's check on Chevrolet. Nope. I bet Europe has all sorts of cool new rides also appear. Now let's just check and see which one is going to be new. Nope, it's not on Jaguar, but hold on, let's just give me a little second to check on something. Alright, well, it says here, February 2018 update is also confirmed for February 2028. I guess that was past because I never, let's just scroll down and, sorry, I'm just trying to check something. Alright, well. By first, let's just say I'm about to go on over to Alpine because Alpine has two new rides also included. And there it is. Looks like they have showcase of Alpine A110, the 1600 S version from 1972. And woohoo! Check out this new model. It looks like the Alpine A110 has finally also made in 2017. What's been marked as the Premier Edition. How is squeezed for this sweet new sports ride for France? This car is definitely an N300. Take a look at this, you guys. But yes, in case if you already know it. But yeah, I'm just really want to catch things up here for it. Well, first things first, I should probably go in purchasing the, the A110 1600S. This only costs 100,000 credits. I'll just go and bring this old dog in. Okay, looks like that looks very exclusive and brand new model also appear, but definitely 
the 1600s is definitely an old model okay now let's just go and purchasing the the a110 premier edition this one only costs 70,000 credits and looks like this one only has three new colors there's the Belay Solarite. That was definitely in white. And the Noir Profond. That was in black. And definitely the classic cl color is the Blue Alpine. I'll just go and pick this color and purchase this. Man, I'm so excited. I'm about to purchasing these cars so I could get something on the achievements in the gallery section. I'll keep in this. Alright, now let's just say let's go over to Audi. But don't worry. I'm just gonna say that whoa sweet showcases. Look at that. And definitely the showroom was actually shown that the Audi R8, the first generation model, was been also appeared in 2007. This car was always wants to be in the GT Sport ever since in Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Yeah, well, definitely in Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6, there is a, a 2010 version of the Audi R8 was well, definitely a 5.2 version of this. Hold on a second, folks. I, I'll be able on hold. Just, I'll be right back. Sorry about that folks, uh, I'm just having a little cleanup things to do, so anyway, so looks like there's some f 10 specific colors also, also appear, and let's just say I'm about to go over to the studio scenes. Wow, looks like definitely same as usual, same colors as well, but anyway, I kind of think I might go with the Elite Super Metallic Comp. Carbon Sigma. Yep, the same price is definitely 166,700 credits. Let's go and buy this all wheel drive supercar. So, looks like the Audi R8 is definitely an N400 car category division. But it looks like this is definitely check on the list. Now, looks like we're... Let's just go over to Lamborghini. I bet that the Abandonator is going to be up here. But, 
Yeah, baby, I really knew it. The Benator is definitely on the list. This one has a lot of good max speed performance. 690 horsepower, 8500 RPM. This looks definitely much stronger like the, the Lamborghini Vineyard. So I kind of think I might better go pick the the orange color. But even of course, this only has 12 specific colors whenever you guys feel like when you're, whenever you're going to purchase. So anyway, 400,000 credits. That's Hold on just one second. I'll be right back. All right, looks like time to bring this abandoned tour in the garage. Well, looks like this car is pretty cool and super hot as an N700. Well, most other people really love Lamborghinis just like this abandoned tour, LP704. Definitely, this model is very cool for a 2011 model. Also appears in GT5 as part of a DLC pack, but this one is pretty fast and cool OP style. Oh yeah, I know I was giving a little timing at all, but let's just go and check to see if there was more. Nope, guess that's it for now. All right, now time to move on over to check on this new car brand. I guess this cars call it the D Tommaso. I never heard about this car well I guess this this vehicle only has one this one also introduces to Gran Turismo Sport but look at this this car is N300 it only costs 200,000 credits to purchase this car but this is definitely brand new for the first time I never seen well, most of us that we never seen. Kind of think that this one only has 10 colors. Okay, looks like this is definitely brand new to me. Maybe I should probably have to try this car out some other time in the future for having a little gameplay. But anyway, let's just go and purchase this new car from the 1970s a hidden headlights was definitely quite pretty classy all right looks like that's it for for the new cars from february 2018 update now let's just move on over to japan But anyway, I bet Subaru has two new cars was been also in introduced, but I guess that there was another WRX STI models and definitely a BRC drift car. Wow, looks like definitely this is the, the new version of the Subaru WRX STI known as the ISO Up Man Time Attack Car. But this car was also made in 2016 when a driver just takes part of the ISO Up Man for a Time Attack event. But this WRX Group 4, but very different. But this car only costs 300,000 credits. But I kind of think this car is. I want to make a vehicle. I kind of think I should probably go and purchase this car and see how 
feels whenever it goes. Wow, looks like this is quite very awesome looking car. Most other people really like this vehicle for a different version of the Group 4 Subaru STI. Kind of thing I should really had to go purchasing the drift car next. So this car is the Subaru Falcon Tire Turn 14 Drift Distribution BRC 2017 and this max power is Wow, I cannot believe it. 1037 horsepower? I don't know how did this FR vehicle can barely go very fast, but well, I know it was a drift car, but definitely most like other drift cars like the Nissan Silva, Mitsubishi Lancer, Nissan C, and definitely the Mazda RX-7 as well. Definitely, this this is very official drift car approved, made by by Gran Turismo. But I cannot believe it. This is definitely a Group X category. Well, hope everybody knows how, how to drift with this car, because I should probably have to grab the handbook of how to drift. Because this car only costs four hundred thousand credits. Same as the Lamborghini Avenator. Alright, time to purchase this drift car in. Now look at this. This car is definitely wide body style. Definitely almost turns out like the Scion FRS and the Toyota A6 GT, but well, Subaru drift car is definitely specially approved for the BR BRC but it's this model is 2017 by the way this is definitely quite pretty awesome now let's just check on over to Toyota wow looks like definitely the Toyota Super headlights well, definitely, hidden headlights was also appear, and the Toyota MR2 GTS was here as well. Wow, I cannot believe Polybody Digital have finally made the MR2 to become fully detailed. After 20 years for Grand Turismo featuring this car, this interior you could definitely see it to my eyes. But, looks like this one only has 6 colors, but... Well, I kind of think this one is going to become yellow ever since the first Gran Turismo. But, glad this, this one is everyone's popular classic car with the hidden headlights. Definitely cost 27,100 credits. That could be pretty clever to buy this in a standard price range whenever if the player always reaches to 50,000. Plus, this one is N200 category. I might better have to have this color to be used. Alright, now it's time to purchase this old style Toyota Supra 3.0 GT Turbo A. Well, I guess this car never changes because this one is still fully premiumized. Glad this one is definitely one of the classic Japanese sports cars. Well, evenly, one color is also available. But I'm glad I also submitted here from Deepnet to Art about the Toyota Supra's look-alike, but I'm really glad I just already Submitted here a long time ago. Two Toyota Supras, 1988 style, and two same colors. But also glad that this price range has only cost 40,500 credits. Now let's just go and purchase this late 80s car, and looks like this one is an N300. 
Welcome back, Black Supra. You're now in Gran Turismo Sports. Okay, looks like everything's all done for now. That's it for the 2018 February update. Now let's just say, let's just carry on over in March 2018 update. Plus, two new Audi Vision Gran Turismo cars. Now it's time to go and head, head back over to Ford and go and grab myself a Ford GT40. This price range has already cost 2,800,000 credits. Hold on one second, I'm just doing a little Homer Simpson's role playing. And the price for the Ford GT40 is <gasps> 2,800,000 credits! Yep, I'm just really want to do some commentary epic proportions, but but this 1966 supercar was definitely appear in Gran Turismo 2 Gran Turismo 3 as a simplified standard vehicle with no interior but I guess this car also appeared in Gran Turismo 6 with a 15th anniversary Valiant version. But I cannot believe it. This does only have one color also available. But maybe in the rest from Gran Turismo 2 also appears as as a prize car reward from any kinds of specific events. If you guys want to have to give a comment, I'll just go and grab this by purchase. And this looks definitely cool and old style. That one is gonna be on the M400 category division for the N Class series. All right, now let's just go on over to Europe and go and check on over to Aston Martin. I hope that the Aston Martin DB11 is also appear. And looks like there's the, and this one is the Aston Martin DB11 2016. And this car is marked as N600. But this one is definitely fully premium detail car also appear in GT Sports. But well, Aston Martin fans really wants the DB9 to be in Gran Turismo Sport because this. But it also seen here in Need for Speed Payback. Well, definitely that might be the part where Tyler Morgan is working with Marcus Weir. Because, well, Marcus Weir has the Aston Martin DB11 and definitely this one is quite very also here in the NFS series. But I cannot believe it this so many colors that everyone has to choose. This is definitely big, I can't tell. But it looks like there are a lot of few specific types of colors whenever it picks on any type of this car. Wow, I cannot believe it. This is very changing for the Aston Martin DB series. Well, definitely the DB7 was definitely also here in and Gran Turismo 1 also includes for the two versions the, the hard top and the convertible. I might better have to say I might better go and pick on any kinds of color whenever I choose. Well I kind of think I should go with a Cinnabar orange or but yes I might better go pick with a Madagascar orange. This would be good for it. It only costs 238,100 credits. That could be quite very expensive like the Mercedes-Benz SLS. Let's just say let's go and buy this new Aston Martin DB11.
Okay, looks like next up is the BMW. Glad that the BMW M3 Sport Evolution was been also added in in the March 2018 update. Well, this one is the N200 car, but it only costs 200,000 credits. Two colors like the brilliant red and the jack black. Well, I kind of think this is definitely opposite type of it. But anyway, let's I'm about to go and purchase this one. Jet black is definitely probably exclusive for this one. Okay, nothing else. All right, now let's just say let's just go on over to Oh yeah, almost forgot I had to check out the museum on Mini first then the Renault Sport Well glad that I should probably have to go and take a tour So looks like I might better have to do a lot of learning history things here for you folks. I'm just saying it for it. But I cannot believe it that this one from the 1959 says Cooper's Formula 1 race car takes the championship. In case if you really want to pause it by reading this, but you might better have to have your brain to start learning the history of motorsports. Cannot believe it that the Mini Cooper was never changed in sports because this one also appears in the 1960s. And looks like this was the Mini Cooper was also appear in Gran Turismo 2, folks. Well, unfortunately, the classic Mini was been discontinued in 2000. But that could be the last car to roll off the assembly line at the Long Bridge. Was the Mini Cooper Sport painted in red with silver roof and a bonnet seat? Well, most of it because the new Mini Cooper was actually was been created here after the old Mini Cooper was been dis discontinued as a classic. Well, definitely the Mini Cooper was definitely also appear in the movie called The Italian Job. Wow, can't believe that this car was definitely popular in the movies. Oh yeah, definitely. The classic was in it as well. Okay, well, that's all of it for taking a little showcase. Now let's just go on over to Renault. So, looks like Renault has been started out on 1899 that the founder was Louis Renault. He just laid the foundation for the first car called the Volume Turret Type A. Looks like the founder just finally made its new car that he just made. And that's how the first logo was started out here in the 1900s. I cannot believe it, this is definitely quite learnable on history. This is definitely quite discovery. I guess that France was very impressive for Renault for a long century. This is definitely turns out very classic. I'm just trying to add the scroll lap around here and it looks like 1963 that the 
the Alpine A110 was been debuted. Well, definitely it'll evolve over to 15 years for having a production. And it looks like, in case if you if you already known about the the Renault 8 Gordini, this picture was definitely seen here in Gran Turismo 6. Well, in case if you guys really want to have this car by the next update later on, or along with the Toyota Supra GR. And it looks like the new logo was been appear in the 1970s. And ooh, look at this. This this LMP car was definitely taking one final victory at Le Mans. After winning the 24 hours of Le Mans with the A442V, Renault decided to con concentrate on F1. Formula One, indeed. Well, like Renault 5 Turbo was definitely also a peer. Yes, even of course, pedestrian safety, but well, they're just having a little experiment car drive on any vehicles. Hmm, cannot believe that Renault just made a an e space concept van. Well, definitely a mini van, I believe. Okay, this one's also up here, and this one is. Okay, looks like that's where it ends up here. Well, in other case, if you guys really want to learn something on the museum on the Brent Central, that's definitely going to be on its way here. But yes, I'm March update. So let's just say going on over to Nissan. Well, looks like Nissan is bringing out some Skylines and GTRs. Well, looks like it's time to go and purchase the R33 model of the Nissan Skyline, 1997, N300 category. Well, glad this color selection never changes for a bit. I'm glad that I should probably go and pick on Midnight Purple. Well, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm just really wanting to have the Nissan Skyline R33 on Midnight Purple because this one is definitely quite very Japanese retro style. This one's been added up. And now, and here is the new Nissan GTR Nismo 2017 model. Well, I, gl I guess that you guys really want the 2015 model in your own eyes because well this one is definitely the premium edition model but definitely much like the black edition version I believe so there are three, four specific colors definitely represent by Nismo I might, I might say I might prefer go pick on brilliant white pearl Car price cost 187,000 credits. This looks definitely quite very interesting to get it. Oh boy, looks like I know how you guys think about this blocking issue for some reason. Bummer.
This is gonna have to wait for a long time for it to work. Maybe I'll figure it out to get this back on. Be right back. <laughs> 